she has done this competition before, so she's probably the subject matter expert as far as the competition goes and be able to answer some of your particular questions about how the actual event is executed. Okay? So without further ado, we're going to go right into the task. Alright, so these are the um, tasks that we're going to be go going over today. We're going to be evaluating casualties with DC3. We're going to be controlling bleeding using um, various measures. Preparing airway obstruction, restoring breathing, and first aid for burns and preventing shock. Okay? Yeah. These are the references. This is our first aid manual, our common class that we got, as well as our soldiers' our common task manual. Next. Portion right here. You mentioned it's called a witness. You will make that turn as tight as you need to. Okay, you only need to turn it as tight as needed for the bleeding to stop. Okay, once the bleeding has stopped, take that windlass, you can put it underneath one of these flaps on the side. Either side is okay. You have an opportunity to practice this throughout the um, course. Discovered magnetic attachment two. This is the second phase of TC3. So during this phase of care, you're no longer under effective fire, so you can take your time and reassess. My hands. I'm going to check the back of his neck. I'm going to examine my hands to see if I found any more blood. I'm going to check his armpits. Same thing. Then I'm going to go down his arms. Just going down his arms every single time looking at my hands to see if I can find any more blood. Then I'm going to move down to his lower extremities. This is where I have my tourniquet. I already know there's blood there. So I'm going to move over to the next leg. I have no blood yet. And then I'm going to check his groin area. This could be uncomfortable for some people, but you gotta do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna cross them so you can get good leverage. You're gonna go in, visual, and you just lift your hands, find any blood. If I do find blood, say I just found blood on uh, his right arm. This is where this is where more deliberate tourniquet is, where uh, it's more specific to the wound, so you're gonna tie it off the end point of your face right there. So that'd be the same thing for all your junctional wounds. You just pack your combat guys, wrap with ace wrap, causing that pressure, stopping the bleeding. After you do this, you're gonna go down to your feet and you're gonna check your pedal pulses. And this is where you're gonna see, unlike a tourniquet, the tourniquet you're not gonna to wanna to pulse. This is where you're gonna to wanna to pulse in that leg, that's where you're gonna want blood flow. So you're gonna go down and check. It should not be comfortable for your casualty, but you should not. Does everybody understand what we meant when we say doing an ace to tourniquet? You should go from there. All right. Yeah. 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 And you realize you lost your pulse there. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like this. Two inches, five uh, centimeters. Yeah, I'm not getting converted back. Yeah, but the way he did it right there, that's like perfect. Like I said, this is a dummy, it's going to go easier. But when you're doing a real person, you're not going to see it like this. Um, like I said, as long as you do as hard as you can, you know, it's going to help you. Five. 
Today uh, we, the Latvian National Defense Academy team, we are preparing for the Sandhurst competition, which is uh, going to happen in West Point, New York State, in the uh, beginning of April this year. Okay, and what is the Sandhurst competition? Uh, Sandhurst competition is a yearly uh, annual uh, competition between uh, various military academies across the world. And uh, we are uh, really uh, happy to be invited this year to participate once again because we participated last year. So we have to bring the best we can and uh, win the best prizes. Nice. So, um, so you had seen all this stuff before, right? So this is kind of like a refresher for you? Uh, well, as for today, uh, we're training uh, some, uh, we're doing some medical training. And uh, yes, we have had a medical training in Latvia here, some basic steps. But uh, as we are training for the competition in USA, we should uh, definitely train how they do it in, uh, in USA. That's why we are uh, really happy to cooperate today with uh, US troops deployed here in Latvia. Right. Yeah, it's a good refreshment, but uh, uh, as well, there are many details which are good to know. Awesome. Um, you got any questions? So yeah, just keep looking. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been training for this? Uh, actually, we started our trainings in the beginning of this year, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not just about the medical uh, trainings. There are various uh, uh, various activities that we must be trained to. Different uh, setting, setting up uh, uh, rope techniques. Uh, also, some uh, something else from tactics and other tasks. So medical is one category in the competition. How many other categories are there, do you know? Uh, as far as I remember, there will be something about 12 uh, different activities. And plus might be some, uh, some little bonus uh, uh, stations, I would say, to perform. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very uh, tiring two-day <laughs> uh, competition. And uh, it's covering actually most of the most of the basic military skills. Okay, when when is the next competition, that, or the one you're going to, the one you're preparing for? Uh, actually, right now we are we are uh, preparing just for this particular competition, uh, and it happens in April. And uh, the next time it happens, it's uh, after one year. Okay. It happens year by year. Okay. How long does the competition take? Like a couple days? Uh, the competition as itself uh, happens for two days, but uh, uh, as I know, we will have some uh, few days to, to prepare, to get uh, used for the time zones, for the local uh, equipment, for the local weapons. So uh, totally it will be about eight days in USA. Nice. And you've been before? Uh, yes, I've been in West Point last year, okay. but during different uh, activities. Exchanges. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Is there anything else you want to add about today or just the competition? Uh, I guess no. But uh, <laughs> but uh, we're really happy to to be here to cooperate with uh, U.S. troops. We have had a previous experience with uh, your engineers from Airborne Unit, and uh, we uh, we had a really good uh, exchange in uh, exchanging different skills working together, operating uh, even in a uh, fighting and built-up area. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, so today we got the opportunity to train with the, well, help train the Latvian soldiers for a competition they have coming up at West Point. Um, we just went over some basic medical skills that they might 
do differently than what they do over in the U.S. So it was really cool seeing the uh, differences between like how we do some things and how they do some things. And um, what do you think uh, is like the biggest takeaway from something like this? Um, I would say just how different people, like actually how similar things are the way we do them. Like you come to a different country expecting to really dive into their culture and see how they do things. And it's just like really, it's really cool to see how they similar really you guys do things. Not everything's so different. Nice, that's a good sound. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Um, overall, how do you think it went? I think it actually went really well. We didn't have uh, all that time to prepare, but for the couple days we did, I think we pieced together a pretty good presentation. And it seemed like they soaked up a lot of information. How do you think they're going to do overall in the competition? From what I've seen, I think they're going to do pretty well. I'm not too familiar with the competition itself, so I don't know all those, what all they're going to have to do, but if it's just medical, I think they'll do pretty well. Nice. Um, did they reach out to you or, or your unit, or did your unit reach out to them? Do you know? Uh, I believe they reached out to our unit, and then we replied to them. She's print, so she's going to write like a story after this is all over with. Okay. I'm going to take exactly what you said and what he said, and I'm going to put a video together. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. Do you expect to do this again? Um, I hope so. I'm not, I don't know if there's another competition, but I do expect to do some more training with them. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of opportunities here since it's like an AIT kind of training base, but I hope we get to do something similar. When I first got here, I got to teach uh, CLS with the 173rd guys that we replaced, and that was some fun. So I got to teach. It's so funny how like it's so different in units, and then come to a different country, and it's kind of the same. And it's pretty cool to watch. Yeah. Right. So, is there anything else you can think of that you want to add, or anything like that? I don't think so. Just having fun.